So washing is complete. We are coming up on a year since we've purchased this washing machine. You can see it's got a glass top and a uh, center agitator. That was a feature we wanted to have. Um, it also has a glass top, which gets a whole bunch of this, like water spots, which I cannot seem to get off with CLR, Windex, or white vinegar. Uh, this is where you put the detergent softener in there. Uh, some of the features that we generally use. You know, fire it up. So it's not like the old one where you just turn the dial and let it go. Uh, we've been using quick wash most of the time. We started out, we started out with max fill because that was seemed to be like what we used to use um, we've since switched to auto which it i don't know how it calculates how much water to put in but it seems to be all right um, this will let you go to an app on your phone so you could load a cycle if you wanted to um, we always generally use fabric softener or vinegar then every time we use a fabric softener we make sure the extra rinse is on spin medium seems to make the least amount of noise Temp, uh, depending on what we're washing, but mostly it's cool, and then soil being normal. Um, and then we'll generally hit this, hold the start button. At that point, it locks this door so you can't get it open, which is kind of a pain, but I guess that's why they have the glass top. Um, one of the issues we're having is um, we bought them as a mesh set, so this is a Maytag dryer, similar style, I guess. It's got the, whatever, this is the model number of the dryer. We always use the dryer balls um, for, I guess, softening and faster drying. Uh, always clear out the lint screen. It's right in the door there. I think the other ones they had was up on top. Uh, the one we had before had a door that opened out to the side, which was somewhat nicer, but this is what it is. Um, the issue we have is we can't take a full load from the washing machine and have it dry in the dryer. So what we normally do is use this normal, normally use normal. Um, I'm gonna turn it on. I'm sure these computer screens are the first thing that's gonna go bad with these things. Um, remote enable, you should turn that on because then it sends a thing to my phone app that says it's done. Um, damp dry signal, I don't use that. That's supposed to let you know if it's just about dry, if you wanted to take it out and like lay it out before it got wrinkly. Um, so dryness, I always have it on more. I don't think you can go any higher. Uh, temp, medium high. I guess I could put that too high. That might help me dry things a little bit better. Maybe I'll just try that on this load. And then we do usually do leave the wrinkle prevent on and all that does is when it's done drying, it just starts up every once in a while to continue drying. So, so we've got an hour and 44 minutes for this cycle. Um, if I take everything from the wash machine and put it in the dryer, it will likely still feel somewhat damp when we're all done. So if anybody out there has a Maytag dryer, oh yeah, and we also use the extra power, which adds more time. Um, I think we have the extra power button over here. We don't use it on the washing machine all that much. But um, anyway, if anybody has one of these Maytag dryers and knows how to make them dry properly, um, yes, I did clear out the, the outside vent. Uh, it is a propane dryer. As you can see, we don't have anything plugged in back here. Uh, propane dryer. I have the outside vent cleaned off. So if anybody's got any tips on how to make your dryer more efficient, uh, let me know. Thanks.